Oh my god, my makeup looks so cute! Where am I going? Nowhere. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we have my second video on this channel from this series, Get Ready With Me Plus Advice. Today we're talking about being a bad bitch, the attitude that you need to have if you want to be giving off that energy that you are a bad bitch and you value yourself, okay? Yeah, pretty much I'm doing my makeup and I'm giving you guys some advice. Before we get into today's video, I wanna say a massive thank you to Nidor for sponsoring today's video. They have been my absolute go-to at the moment. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about this brand. Okay, so we have the Fabric Strapless Adhesive Brow, which has been my absolute favorite. This is what it looks like. So I don't actually like strapless bras. I love these kind of sticky bras. This has been my best friend. Not only does it stop from like my nipple showing through tops because a lot of the cute tops that I like to wear, my nipples show through them and I don't like going in public and having that happen. It just holds everything together and it just makes everything look so good. Um, are you seeing this? Do I need to say anything? <laughs> no, I don't. That is so comfy and I feel like you literally can't tell it's there. Oh my god. I also got these nipple covers. They're so soft. The packaging is so cute. I feel like it's really hard to find the perfect stick-on bra and nipple covers because there's so many different things out there, but like, I don't know. I've just found that I've tried different brands before that haven't really worked very well for me. I feel like you actually have to invest into a good sticky bra and good nipple covers. The type that you can reuse and wear a lot and they're just reliable and I find that this brand is the perfect brand for that. These are my nipple covers. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this on. I'm gonna try these on with like a white top. I love the top, but I literally never wear it out because I can't wear it out. So let's see if these will do the trick. The twins are looking good. <laughs> this top, I never wear this top out because I'm always worried about my nipples and now I can wear it out. Oh my god. Okay, so this comes in a little case. It looks like makeup, so cute. Oh, actually, these are a different color to the last ones. See how they're different colors? Okay, that feels so soft. I'm shocked. I can't wait to try all of this on. So yeah, if you guys are interested and you want to shop anything from their website, you can go ahead and check out my link in the description. I'm going to leave all the information there and everything that I have here. I feel like it makes me feel confident when I can go out in the clothes I like and not be worried about a nip slip or whatever. So yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Nidor, and let's get into the video. Hi guys, so I look like somebody's cousin. And we're gonna change that. I have no lashes on, which I <laughs> I hate having myself like this on the internet, but I have my favorite lashes here. These are the Eyelure lashes, and I get them from Priceline. They're about $20, which is a lot, but these are the only lashes that I like. I'm gonna try and find them and link them, but anyway, I always start off with my eyes. It's just a thing that I have been doing since the beginning of time. I seem to mess up my eyeliner so easily because I have hooded eyes, okay? Asian girl things. So I always do my eyes first and I do this thing with the tape so that my eyeliner and eyeshadow is like really, really precise. We're going in with eyeshadow first. I literally love this eyeshadow. I always use this palette. I'm so boring. I should use other eyeshadows, but for now I'm using this palette. I'm going in with these two colors here. Also, everything that I use today will be somewhere on the screen. This palette is so random. I picked this up when I was overseas. Mine broke in my bag on the plane, so I got this, and I love it. It's just like perfect. It's literally all I need. I don't really like using other colors. I have so many palettes, but I don't ever use them. This is like my favorite one at the moment. So yeah, starting off, we put the tape on, and then I'm going in with this brown shade here, and I'm gonna mix it with the pink. And then I always tap it off on a tissue. I literally never put it straight on the palette and then on my eye. I find that it kind of like goes everywhere and I don't know, it's too much. So I'll tap it in and then I'll tap it on the tissue like that. I start on the outer corner and then I bring it in and I kind of... Honestly, I don't really have this specific way of doing it. I just like do these little circles. I find that I really don't like how makeup artists do my makeup. I'm yet to find someone that I like just because... I don't have a lot of space here on my eyelids, so my eyes are like this really like annoying shape, but I have found a way to like absolutely kill it with my makeup. Like at the end of this, I'm gonna be looking like your worst nightmare. So I've just done my eyeshadow and I look bruised. We're gonna go in with like this color here. It's like a shiny pink, just so that we have a little bit of glitter going on. Especially when I'm taking night photos, the more shine, the more extra, more dramatic my eye is, the better it looks in pictures. For my eyeliner, I usually use the Better Than Sex eyeliner. Okay, up close. Up close and ugly. 
If you don't have hooded eyes, then you just go over your eyeliner as normal, but this is how I do my eyeliner. I don't know if you guys can see this, but when I look straight, you can't see that it's a lot higher than here. <laughs> Does that make sense? So yeah, I bring it pretty high on the end here, and then I'll fill in the front. I'll just go over it like that. I know it looks a little bit crazy, but this is the best way to do your eyeliner if you have hooded eyes. So I'm just going in and then this is literally like so uneven and I know it probably looks crazy, but when I look straight, you can't tell. When I look down, then you can tell. Looks a little bit crazy or wonky, but I would never do this eyeliner without putting an intense lash on, okay? This is just like the little base. This is the only way that you are gonna do your strip lashes. First of all, I'm gonna put the strip against my eye and even though this strip lash could work with my eye, I'm still gonna cut it. So I would cut it from the front. I'm using my big kitchen scissors. I'm just gonna cut one little part there. My favorite lash glue ever is the Duo lash glue and I know a lot of people use this one but I actually use the one that is dark. So even if you mess up, it's like a dark glue, which is really good. I don't know why people use the white glue. And then when I'm done with my eyes, we will get into the bad bitch advice and I'll do the rest of my makeup because I don't really have to focus too hard when I'm doing the rest of my makeup. So if you've ever put your lashes on and then your lashes like flicking off on the end, it's because it's like, look how straight that is. You wanna do this with your lash. You wanna like curve it in like that and just do that for like a few seconds. Now compare that to this one. That's how you wanna have it before you put it on your eye. So yeah, my glue is on, there's quite a lot of glue there. And then I'm just gonna set it and leave it on the tissue for a bit. While I let my lashes set, I'm going in with my brow gel. This is actually my friend's brand. I know that Mecca, which is, I don't know if Mecca's in like the US, but there's this store here in Australia called Mecca Max. And I know that they have a brow soap that a few of my friends like, but I really look, oh my God, it's so crusty. I've used so much of it. I really, really like this one. It's super strong because I've got them like annoying Asian brows that just don't stay when I do them. And I need to get my brows done, sorry. But I'm gonna quickly show you guys a before and after. Okay, so my eyebrows are waxed. I've done my brow soap, I've done my eyeliner, we're ready to stick the lashes on. I just feel so much prettier. As soon as I do that, it's a wrap. So my eyes look so good. Look at these lashes. They were so easy to put on because I left them out for a bit. My eyeliner looks amazing. See how the way I did my eyeliner is perfect for these lashes because even if I'm talking to you and looking down and everything, you can't see that my eyeliner is actually not one straight line. Okay, we're gonna be talking about the attitude that you need to have to be a bad bitch. This is gonna be a series here on this channel. It's like a get ready with me plus advice. Two for one special because you get to learn all of my beauty tricks while learning how to stop being a bummy bitch, <laughs> okay? This is actually a foundation, but I use this as bronzer. Just do two little dots on my nose because otherwise my nose will be black. It's giving Rudolph the black nose right there. <laughs> we don't want that. Usually people put bronzer here, but I bring it so high up. Like it's basically near my eyeball. Um, just because this kind of gives off the illusion that you're like snatched and you're, you, it's like you've had cheek filler, you know what I mean? Step number one to being a bad bitch. You need to get over the illusion that there is somebody out there to complete you. And this is not even just about guys or whoever you're dating, girls, whatever. This is like everyone, your friends, your boyfriend, get over the illusion that they are there to complete you because anybody in your life is so lucky to be in your life, especially that guy, okay? I'm just saying guy, but some of you might be dating girls, whoever you're dating. That person is really lucky to have you. I feel like we just get it so twisted and a lot of us like romanticize in our heads like the future with this person, but let's just talk about the fact, I always say this is so annoying, I'm like repeating myself. Let's talk about the fact that we have just passed, it's no longer 7 billion people, it's 8 billion people in this world. And you have this one person, right, that's supposed to make you happy. The whole purpose of talking to someone, being in a relationship, having a friendship, the whole purpose of having people around you like that is for them to make you happy. 
you should never be unhappy or stressed or feel like you're in a competition with any of your friends. You should never feel like a guy or a partner or someone you're dating is bringing stress into your life. What? What's the point of that? I literally can't name you one bad bitch that has friends around her that makes her unhappy and drained and is talking to a guy that's like not giving her his full attention and buying her things and spoiling her and stuff. If they're not gonna bring you peace and happiness and you're not benefiting, it's not always benefiting as in like, physical things and you know materialistic things i'm just saying like here if you're not feeling good with the people around you then like literally cut them off and work on yourself and then once you've worked on yourself you become that bad bitch version of yourself and then you'll attract whoever you want in your life it's so easy it's like you're a magnet right but you can't be giving off that like magnetic bad bitch attitude if you're around people that don't make you feel so good in yourself you know what I'm saying? You know what guys, once you let go of this fear of being alone and you realize I'm gonna die one day and I know that sounds so dramatic but let's be dramatic for a second. You're gonna die one day, you're not gonna be here forever. Like your time is literally limited. Once you realize that and you realize that it actually is so important who you keep around you and who you spend like time with and like you give your energy to, once you realize how important that is and you start taking that really seriously, then that is you walking into your bad bitch era, okay? Like I said, I don't know any bad bitches that have friends that just serve them nothing, especially those jealous vibes. I know we've all had friends in the past, I know I have, that kind of give off the vibes that they're not really happy for you. Sometimes they can't help it. I know that sounds like weird, but I honestly feel sorry for people like that because I feel like they're really unsatisfied with themselves and unfulfilled that like, they have to compete with you so it's honestly like a them problem and it's sort of like you don't have to beef with people like that just let them go you know what i mean because really mature friends are happy for you you guys grow together and like share things with each other and that's like what you need okay so step one of being a bad bitch basically all i'm trying to say moral of my story is cut off anyone that isn't benefiting you you know that really cringy thing that people say? They're like, I'm protecting my energy. Okay, I know that's so cliche, but it's so true. You really need to protect your energy. I would rather sit at home filming YouTube videos and TikToks and like shopping online and just, you know, spending my energy on things that I like than going out, hanging out with people that are just like draining me. That's not what a bad bitch would do. And another thing a bad bitch wouldn't do. Let's say you're dating a guy, right? A bad bitch would not, with a capital N-O-T, send him so much energy. I know it's so much easier said than done to just not stalk the guy and not go through his following. Listen, we've all done it. I've done it. I'm no better than you. But it gets to a point where you have to kind of like stop yourself, like stalking his following and looking through girls he's talked to before and just being a little bit crazy like that. Stop sending that energy. You don't wanna do that. Stop, stop like romanticizing it so much and you know, like giving them so much energy. No girl, no, you are literally like, you're a bad bitch and you're alive in this world and it's like, you, the wheels on the bus still go round with you here, okay? Like, you're not gonna put your life on pause and send them all your energy and stuff. You gotta work on yourself. They're a side character. Doesn't matter how much you like them, they're a side character. This is your movie, and you get it once. Some of you guys are out here acting like you get to replay this movie a hundred times. No, doll. Once. Only once. Just the same way that you're allowed to talk to people, they can talk to people too. I know it's hard to hear. Let them. When you guys start dating, different story. See being single as an opportunity to have so much fun and to keep your options open and like, you know what I mean? I know some people watching this might be um, in a relationship, but the same advice in terms of like, don't give them so much energy applies both ways. When you're talking to guys or even when you're dating a guy, even if you're so serious with a guy, you don't wanna give him so much energy. Cause I feel like they can feel that. And it's giving like clingy, it's giving like, I'm a clinger, like I can't, I can't be without you and I, I just care about you so much and if I lost you, oh my God, and you know what I mean? Like you might love someone so much or like someone so much that you do feel that way a little bit, but you never wanna show it. You gotta keep that to yourself and work on that. You never wanna feel like you need someone. You want them, but you don't need them. Okay, so my camera died, we're back. Um, what am I doing? I'm doing my bronzer. So yeah, this all brings me back to my first point. You wanna find completedness within yourself. Yeah, I think it just sounds really cliche, the whole like love yourself and everything, but you can have the looks and you might attract someone towards you, but you're not gonna keep them there unless you literally have that like self-respect, that 
I love myself so much attitude that it's like, if you walk out of my life, yes, I might cry over you, I might be sad over you because I really do love you, I really do like you, but it's like, I'm still gonna keep going in this life. Like, nobody around me important enough that my whole entire life is based around them because I'm the most important person in my life. That's the energy that you wanna have. Like I said, you might have the looks, you might be able to attract a person towards you, okay? You might be so pretty and have all of that, but it's all about what's in here that's gonna keep them around. I love looking pretty, smelling nice, taking care of myself, but I also equally love maintaining that bad bitch attitude. I really like reassure myself a lot and check in with myself because I can like slip out of it really easily. You know, I can start like doubting and feeling down. We all do, it's literally natural. We all feel like that sometimes, but I really like affirming and reminding myself like I am that bitch, you know? And it's not all about looks, it really isn't. It's like a two for one package, they come together. Your looks and your personality, the way that you look and the way you feel about yourself, those are the two things that come in together. That's what makes a true bad bitch, okay? You're only half a bad bitch if you only look good but you don't have anything else to offer. That's only half of a bad bitch. When you walk in anywhere, the first thing that people see is your looks. They can't see your personality. I watch a lot of people on YouTube that give like pep talks and you know, like I get a lot of inspo from people on YouTube, but a lot of them don't talk about that. I feel like it's almost viewed as like it's vain to talk about like taking care of your looks, but girl, that's what people see first is your looks. So you wanna be like attractive, okay? It's not all about having that confidence. You can sit around and meditate and do everything, but listen, we live in a world where it's cutthroat out here and people are judgmental and we're all judging each other based off looks. Look at dating apps and Instagram and everything, swiping left and right, it's all about looks. So you wanna take care of yourself. You wanna smell good, you wanna look good, all of that. Okay, period. Next thing, we're going in with blush. Oh my God, I just put on so much. <laughs> No, no, no! No! Oh, I'm looking cute! You can't even lie. You're about to comment down below and say I look fugly. Well, you're lying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No one's gonna comment that unless you're blind. <laughs> oh my god, I <laughs> This is one lyric in a rap song that I'm obsessed with. There's this... Oh, I can't even remember what song this is, but the lyric is... The line is... Talk to get money because talk is too cheap. A bad bitch doesn't entertain anything so embarrassing. Bad bitches don't have drama. Talk to get money because talk is too cheap. I'm not wasting my <gasps> breath, okay? You wanna have drama with me? That's fine. Speak to the wall. All of my haters are like this. Hey, speaking to things. Anything, but not me. <laughs> I need a glass of wine. I make myself laugh. Wait, I'm getting really red. My makeup isn't this red. I'm just laughing. Incoming comments being like, why is she actually a pig? <laughs> now I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna throw just a tiny bit of shade out here. There has been some scandals out here. I could come on YouTube and I could talk about the things that have happened, but why would I do that? And I've seen so many girls beefing and then they air their drama online. That's so embarrassing. It's just not what a bad bitch would do. It's just not. So I've had some pretty intense things happen. There's been some scandals and if I talked about it, you guys would be shocked, okay? But I wouldn't talk about it because talk to get money because talk is too cheap. Oh my God, that's dirty. Whatever. All right, so I'm just kind of going in with like some strokes. And I'm gonna mimic like brow hairs in the front here, just cause I think that'll look good. I always use eyeshadow brushes for highlight. It's just my thing. I've been doing that. And if you don't like it, tell someone who cares. <laughs> so I'm going in on the tip of my nose and then on the bridge and just in like the inner corners. I get one of these brushes. It's like a little smudge brush. I'm gonna go in with the exact same color that I used on my lid, this one here, and I just go under. This is my favorite thing in the whole world right now. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Oil. This is so expensive. <laughs> like, it's just not, I can't justify it. I really, honestly cannot justify the price of this, but it's so good, the Magic Lip Oil. So it's like a little roller, and I'm gonna quickly go over. I'm going in with my MAC Lip Pencil shade Whirl. And I'm gonna, I have no like specific technique on how I line my lips. I just focus a lot on my cupid's bow. I have this interesting lip shape where it's like a circle. <laughs> so 
Sometimes I just do lip liner and then I do my Charlotte Tilbury lip oil and that's enough. I'm going over with the Clinique Chubby Stick and just really quickly going over. And I love lip plumpers, obsessed with it. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Refresh Rose Lip Plumper. Sometimes I use Fenty or the lip injection, but I like this one because it's like a subtle, a subtle one. Actually, I do one more thing. This is my favorite little thing. I need to buy more of it. It's the Freck. It's like fake freckles. I'm obsessed with this. It's so good. I just quickly go like that. Like, look how messy I just did that. And then I go over with my fingers. And it's like the perfect little fake freckles. Setting spray. This is the Morphe setting spray. Okay, so that is my finished makeup. It's giving bad bitch. I'm gonna insert a clip of what I looked like before. And look at me now. I think the most crucial part of my makeup is the way I do my eyes, the way I do my eyeliner. This look would not look nearly the same if I didn't do my eyeliner. Where am I going, you ask? Nowhere. I'm gonna film TikToks. It's 11.30. I just wanted to do my full face makeup for you guys. I'm so sad that I have no plans and I'm not going anywhere, but yeah. So anyway, as we were talking about before, bad bitches don't have drama because drama gives you nothing. But one thing that I will say Having drama and standing up for yourself are two different things. When someone is obviously making you feel uncomfortable or a certain way, you need to say something. You need to be assertive. You need to be assertive, you need to be stern, okay? If you're gonna walk into someone's house and they say to you, hey, can you quickly take your shoes off? You're not gonna not take your shoes off. You're gonna do that because they're showing you what they want. You know what I mean? Like that's the rule for the house. Same thing with you. Bitch, I got rules. If you're gonna be around me, you're not gonna make me feel uncomfortable. You're not gonna say things that don't slide with me. You have to be stern. You have to be sure of yourself and don't let people walk all over you or say things that make you feel uncomfortable. But that's different to having drama. I don't want drama, but I'll tell you how I feel if you make me feel a type of way. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's that advice. Let's change the topic a little bit. Still on the train of being a bad bitch, but Bad bitch is not gonna take shit from any guy, okay? No guy. Even if he's Channing Tatum, if he's Michael B. Jordan, if they're beautiful. Their history if they don't text you or call you or give you that attention. History. As females, we have this thing, I've noticed, a lot of my friends do this, where we glorify someone so much, you almost like romanticize them because the idea of someone can be so much better than actually being with them. Being with somebody and the idea of somebody, two different things. And I always get asked by so many people, like, how do you get over somebody that you didn't actually date? I know it sounds silly, but I'm really hurt. I actually don't think it sounds silly at all because getting over somebody that you didn't actually date can almost hurt, if not the same, then more. Because you kind of build up this version of them in your head and then when you guys don't work out, it's almost like really sad because it's like the what if, like we could have been. But the could have been, it's just your mind playing tricks on you. You're not gonna cry, you're not gonna be sad if they're not giving you that energy, they're not texting you, they're not bothering a lot. Just keep it moving. There's so many other people out here. There's so many countries and so many things for you to do out here in this world. Sitting around, being upset over this one clown, it just does nothing. And let me tell you, on top of that, it's not what a bad bitch would do. And we're trying to be a bad bitch out here. And that's it, you guys. That's all of my advice. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you like this makeup look. Oh my god, I'm so excited. New Year's is so soon. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's an all white party and you guys know I like wearing white. I always get comments, why are you always wearing white? Why not? Actually, you're right though. I'm gonna try and experiment with color, but yeah, I'm gonna do this type of makeup for New Year's and I just love this so much. I experiment with different lashes, but these are definitely my favorite lashes at the moment and I love this cat eye look. But I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good new year.